Welcome back to another Subnautica gameplay, guys. Um, I'm the Vetricator, and if you are wondering why my voice is kind of shaky right now, it's because I am really freaked out. Because you know how I said I don't go at dark? Yeah, well, uh, this is like ten times worse. Um, I'm in the dark, and I'm kind of lost. I mean, I can see my life pod and all, but, like, I am genuinely, I just genuinely don't know where I am. So, uh... Not in the best spot possible currently. So currently we're just kind of scavenging around here, looking for anything. Um, should probably save because I found that supply crate back there with that first aid kit, which um, wasn't bad because I'm kind of low on uh, life, so I might need to use that soon. And so we got some metal salvage, some quartz, and ooh, um, let's see what's in the sandstone outcrop. I keep forgetting. Um, have I found a sandstone outcrop before? I think I have. I'm. There's three different outcrops, I believe. There's sort of that rocky one that um, gives you copper or titanium, and there's the smoother ones, which can give you, like, silver ore and stuff. And holy cow, is this the aurora? Is that the aurora? Holy cow. Oh, jeez. Okay, I am way too close to the aurora. Holy cow. I mean, I never imagined it being that close. Like, jeez. It's crazy. I, I, there's usually reapers guarding that area, so I didn't think that I'd be able to get back there, but I guess I can just go up and uh, touch it, so interesting. But, um, yeah, you, oh, oh, another supply crate. Let's see what's in this one. Take item. Oh, it's a filtered water bottle. Not bad. I'm kind of low on water again, so, I mean, I guess I could use that um, soon. There's a school boomerang. But anyways, we're just kind of scavenging at the moment for materials and looking for the mobile vehicle bay. And, uh, currently I have not had any luck. Um, I'm just kind of looking in places that I haven't looked before because that's what helped me with this find the sea glide. Um, I was actually really lucky on that because I found, um, two fragments in the same exact area, which was really nice. So, um, yeah, that's what basically happened. And, um, I'm just gonna go down here, see if there's anything. And, um, oh, as I, as I was saying before, um, there are three types of fragments. Um, that rocky one, like right here, that gives you either copper ore or titanium. Let's see what I got. Copper ore, okay, so yeah, I always get titanium with those. But, anyways, there's that kind, then there's a smoother kind that can give you like silver ore, lead, and a bunch of other stuff. And let's check these supply crates because the mobile vehicle bays are usually in. Actually, I think they're always in uh, um, supply, uh, not supply crates, in these cargo crates. But that's the thing, I have no luck. They're either empty or they're blocked off. Or it's a laser cutter frag, which I've been finding a ton of them lately too. And um, I've also been finding a lot of uh, sea glide fragments and perfect timing too. Uh, ever since I found those two um, sea glide fragments, they're appearing like everywhere now. It's actually kind of really annoying me that I didn't find them earlier. But um, yeah, they're either empty or they're just blocked off. So... No luck in this crash. Um, once I get the uh, laser cutter, which I hopefully will get soon, um, that'll be interesting. So I can basically, in those metal um, wrecks and salvages and stuff, I can basically, if there's any sealed doors, I can cut through it and I can look in them. And, and supposedly that's how you find a lot of uh, the mobile vehicle base. So that's hopefully my ticket to the Seamoth. And um, a lot of people have also been saying you can find them in the Creepvine Forest. But I have not had any luck lately whatsoever in the Creepvine Forest. Um, none at all. Really, um, only 361 meters? I expected it to be a little bit farther, but, um, I'm just gonna kind of search in this area. Um, again, spaces I haven't usually looked for. I mean, I have looked, I have looked in the, uh, Creepvine Forest area, but not, like, the, not this certain area. The, the creepvine area actually um, sort of circles around a lot of the space, and geez, I have not been over here at all. Sort of that reddish grass area. Um, so, whoa, there's a lot of colonies of fish over here. Um, let's see if what's in this outcrop. I don't know why I'm looking at outcrops, like, seriously. Uh, I honestly, I'm pretty much good on outcrops. There's something about it just makes me want to go up and uh, hit it with my scanner. Or whatever I have. Ooh! Whoa! Holy cow! Can I scan this? What's down there? Holy cow! I'm gonna scan this. Can I not scan it? 
That stinks. So anyways, guys, I just found some diamond, actually, and the reason I'm so excited about that is that that's what's going to get us the laser cutter. Um, I believe we need two, but, so I'm just going to kind of start searching around here. It's kind of on these walls right here. It's kind of just a black outcrop, just kind of stuck on these walls. It basically looks like the sandstone outcrop, like I did further in the gameplay, but um, it's black basically that's the only difference really um that's not one that's a boomerang geez there's a boomerang down here holy cow let's see um so yeah i'm currently looking for diamonds um i actually personally thought you could only find these in the uh on the island but i guess not so i'm just gonna kind of search wait what's that holy cow wait is that a life pod oh geez whoa Life pod 7? Jeez. Toy car, what the heck? Jeez, that's weird. Uh. Do I not, oh, I don't have room for it, do I? I'll just drink a bunch of water. Yeah, I got way too much water. Uh. Oh, shoot, I should probably go get some oxygen. I didn't realize that. I'm actually pretty far down. Um, it may not look like it up on my top of my screen, but it actually takes me, like, quite a while to get up to the top. Oh, shoot. Oh, shoot, am I gonna make it? Holy cow. Oh, jeez, this is cutting it close. Holy cow, that cut it close. Um, well, I survived, luckily. Um, hopefully I can find it again. I'm just gonna dive straight down. I didn't bring a beacon with me, unfortunately, so I wasn't able to mark it, but, um, it's gonna keep hitting down there. Where'd it go? Oh, okay, there. Stay away from that bone shark. I'm not gonna get this. Yeah, no, those are not the black ones that I need. Um, toy car. How's my inventory still full? I guess I'll just eat this. I mean, it's giving me negative two water, but I have plenty of water. Um, alright, so I picked up that. Uh, pick up cylinder flask. Sure. Abandoned PDA. Is that Markiplier? Holy, what? An unusual doll. Um, but that is about it for the video, guys. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Um, oh yeah, I'm gonna. I should probably read that in my PDA sometime. But um, tell me any tips of finding the mobile vehicle bay down in the comment section. That would really help me out. And I will see you in my next video. Goodbye, guys.